everybody, it's me, Clarissica, here on Clarissica Says, where Clarissica says it all, and that is how I feel. So, I am going to give you literally like the last video that I think I'm going to do. I said think that I'm going to do on Kanika Jenkins. Um, just because as of this you know point in time most of the things have either came out or been figured out or literally you know the information that we will need or want to know and actually want to you know have to bring peace and justice for Kanika is going to come out sooner than later like this is the time so I want to make this last video just to go ahead and give you my full standpoint on how I feel about Kanika Jenkins and the entire situation. Now, um, I already told you basically the whole situation as to what happened with Kanika, but you know, I always explain theories and then I give my own perspective, but I'm just gonna, you know, just give you how I feel. And this is the video of just about how my perspective, basically, just my perspective. And please excuse my camera. As you guys know, I normally do this as I am in route because um, I, I'm a very busy person. I don't have time some time, you know, when I get home. So I just kind of do this when I'm, you know, driving. So excuse the camera. If you guys want, you can just, you know, not watch the video, just listen to the audio. But um, yeah, so I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Just for those people that do comment, and I do love your comments, but sometimes I definitely want to make sure that I clarify a couple of things before you guys start to go. <laughs> All right, so the last update on Kanika. Let me just tell you how I feel. Okay. So you have this pretty 19 year old female named Kanika Jenkins. She is a baby. Like, what I mean like a baby, she's a bad baby. She's she's pretty, like not an infant baby, but she's good looking girl. Like she has her head on her shoulders. She just got a job, if you guys didn't really follow the story, but she just have gotten a job before um, this whole situation happened. And so she was starting her life out on a good note and this happened to her where she's now you know currently deceased or claimed to be deceased or well at least the autopsy or whatever you know she's dead now with that being said literally kanika had friends that i feel as though had her back i don't think they truly set her up I do believe that she was put in a predicament where if her friend Monifa stayed with her at the entire point in time, like the entire time that night, she would not have been found dead. However, in Rosemont, Chicago, literally, like she was going around, like people knew Kanika, like people knew her. She did her thing. She dressed nice. She always had her hair done. She always, you know, looked the part and you know males found that you know attractive so of course her name will go around she had a brother who was well known as well well she has a brother um that is well known as well so it makes sense for her to you know have some form of publicity in rosemont chicago to the point of now of course besides her parent but just the fact that she popped off like the way she did you know doesn't you know makes perfect sense um, now, there are many cases where there are girls that are just, you know, not found or, you know, may have been found dead. Um, and there's no story behind how they got like that, what happened. It happens all the time. But Kanika Jenkins is a big issue because of the hotel's owner. Now, I feel as though this man has a big part to deal with the situation. Like, I, I'm not saying that he was the one who did anything. However, I know that he did have some, um, some actual, like, setup with the Oregon Center. He doesn't actually have an Oregon Center, but he did do business with them in the past. And he got caught doing business with them in the past. And so, it's not far-fetched for Kanika to be in this kind of situation. And then after that... You have Selena Gomez bring out the video fetish that shows basically this entire situation like she's mocking it in a way. But because people are drawn to what happened to Kanika, of course, a marketing tool. Let me go ahead and 
put this into the video so therefore I would get more views from other public nations and races because this is how America breaks it down in race but from other people besides the standard people that just look at this video. So it's going to catch the attention of people's mind to say why is there a freezer scene and not every single person that I normally listen to, so listen to Selena is now listening to this video because of that scene. So I think that's a big marketing tool. However, I do believe that the people running this world has a little bit of part to do with this because too many things are coming up. First, there's a reenactment of what happened with Kanika. It's a fake footage. That's not her. That's not her. That is not her. There's an autopsy that shows that Kanika was actually left in the freezer. However, how are we to know that she was actually stuck in that freezer. How are we to know that she wasn't just placed in that freezer for that time frame for her to be found there? You never know because we don't have the real footage and the real information and the real results to actually prove or, you know, rebuttal any of these theories that are actually happening. Like, there's no disapproval, basically, because we don't really have that uh, real information. Now, her friends did recently um, get arrested, you know, but... That doesn't mean that they are the actual ones that did it. And I do not believe that Monifer actually set up Kanika. I don't believe her. I, I mean, sorry. I don't believe that. I do believe that she was careless. I do believe that. I believe that she left her friend and her friend ended up dead. I believe that Kanika was you know, out of it. She was a little drunk. She was turned up. Every All y'all get turned up. The difference is y'all have friends that watch y'all. There's always a spotter. Like I said in one of my other videos, I'm not that spotter girl. I won't go and drink. I may take like a shot or something, but I won't drink heavy when I'm out just because if I'm with people, I want to make sure that they are safe. Like I'm that person. So she needed that kind of a person at that point in time. And that person that she had kind of went away. Now, the crazy part about it is she was dragged out of the room. All the stories say that Monifa picked Kanika up and took her out the room. So that's where I'm at right now because maybe she needed to, you know, talk to someone. I'm not sure, but she got up out of the room. Maybe Monifa didn't actually pick her up. You don't know. They could be watching their backs. You don't really know. You weren't there, neither were I. So they can be telling us anything and it doesn't have to be actually true. That, you know, it actually happened. Like, she actually did put her out. What if Kenika just literally got up, was bored? You know, she just, your mind's a different place. So, you just get up and you go outside the room because you see your friend leaving the room. So, you don't be stuck in a room full of people that you may or may not really be close with. I mean, it's one thing to have acquaintances and see people. It's another to actually be close with someone. So, maybe she wasn't actually, you know, comfortable with all the people that were in the room. And she's seeing her best friend leave. So, I'm going to get up and go and follow her and see, you know, what she's doing. She goes out the door and now her friend's not there. She goes roaming looking for her friend and she gets snatched. There's a lot of, like, a lot of scenarios where kids just get snatched. Missing kids happen all the time. But the difference is, I feel as though because of this hotel and the way she was dressed, Rose, the Rosewood Chicago um, or, um, hotel, Plaza Hotel, Crown Plaza Hotel, isn't doesn't have the best, you know, rep. Literally, prostitutes do go there, and that's on record. Prostitutes do go there. So... Maybe someone seeing her thought she was a prostitute looking for, you know, money. Because if you're walking around, like, like you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but you basically are in a bra. You're per being provocative and a weak-minded man with money may see you and then, you know, take you and then now sell, sell you know, sell your organs on the black market. I'm going to continue to say this because I know that it's true and people do do this the rich people is not so much the fun of having someone's organs it's the sacrifice behind it there's a good and there's a bad but sometimes the bad is also to looked at as good so you can't be biased to bad or good however these people are in a certain playing field and mentally where bad is good to them so therefore they do do sacrifices for their creator their well not their creator because everybody created from the same person their god who they idolize shall I say, not their creator, from their idolize, well, from their God that they idolize, basically. So there's certain things that are different in their culture that is different than our culture. And in the word culture, what's in that? Cult. So cult, sure. 
So basically, the group of people that are in a cult, they're doing these kind of things and selling these parts on the black market. That's why there's a business. Otherwise, the owner would not be a part of it. Why is he a part of it? Because he's reached a certain limit where he's making so much cash. Like he has a fluctuation of cash flow that now he can touch and talk to certain people and be a part of certain groups. I'm not saying Illuminati shit, but that is, you know, that's not, that's not a conversation because Illuminati is a real organization, but the people that talk about it and the way that people portray it is a different story, a different topic. But watch out for that video. I definitely will make a video on Illuminati. However, those kind of groups of secret societies that the people that are literally trillionaires, okay, y'all don't see trillionaires, they're trillionaires that exist and billionaires that exist that are reaching trillionaires and millionaires that want to be billionaires like the freaking Crown Plaza Hotel owner who now is doing things to actually appeal to those billionaires. Who actually runs the army? Yeah, the president. But who runs the presidents? Those billionaires. I'm just saying. So with that being said, these people are the ones that basically I feel as though took Kanika. Y'all will never see these people. You may see them, but you will never know that you're seeing these people that are making these decisions. They control the media. The media tells so many lies. That this, there has been so many lies. And I'm very upset because I, I, I actually like to watch certain things. And I don't watch TV for this reason. However, with this case, I actually enjoy watching information and discovering new ideas and new things that are happening and just figuring this out. But there's so many lies that the media has portrayed because they were told these lies to say certain things and do certain things and put this out to the world for, for distraction. They're distracting us. The same way how they distract us every single day with watching all the reality TV shows instead of picking up a book. You know how many great books there is? This is a book called Paradise to Bus Number Nine to Paradise by Leo Southern with a B. And Bouchard, I forget how to pronounce his name, but you guys should really look it up. It's called Business, no, sorry, Bus 9 to Paradise. I don't know why I keep getting forgetting that name, but Bus 9 to Paradise, for instance. That's a very good book. It gives you insight on basically how we should love each other, be, you know, one, be unified. For another book, The Secret is a very good night, very, very, very good book. Basically, it gives you the secret of this earth. These are the things they don't want for our mind and our will and are thinking to turn they want for us to be zombies to be stupid and dumb and meek like a sheep the bible said be meek like a sheep that's what they want so therefore we don't think or speak or express ourselves they just let us they just enslave us mentally the difference between being a slave back then and now is the fact that we now realize that we do not have shackles on our legs and shackles on our arms and shackles around our neck or even our head for that matter, or even down our back. But guess what they've done? They have trapped our minds. They've shackled our mental minds, our thinking, our creativity, our third eye, my pineal gland, your pineal gland. They decalcified. Well, actually, they calcified your pineal gland so therefore you don't take in any other information so therefore you don't want to actually learn and get past what they tell you you find it foreign for someone to say something or a theory that is against the media but the truth of the matter is the media is also an opinion so therefore because they're stating it on a website that has now been around for a while it is now chosen to be a resource of facts where that is also an opinion even theories you know how many theories and facts quote-unquote facts that we follow every single day in science that change every single day you know there's a cure for AIDS it is there's a cure for AIDS there is it's like it's it's a, it's a cure you know but of course they're not going to release that to the public why because then they wouldn't have a mechanism to kill all the population. They have to keep the population at a certain level so that we can all survive under this infrastructure that they have set up. So with that being said, they do a lot of things that we do not know or understand. And it's past our mental capacity, past our mental state that they have basically placed us in past that level of mental knowledge that they want for us to have and know that they actually do these kind of things and it's not foreign to them this is something that's practiced to them 
you know there's a lot of things that happen and, and just for the record organ sold like well organs being sold or body parts being sold or things of that nature is something that's very lucrative i don't know who buys them i don't know what they do with them i don't know i don't know but it is expensive and if you are an organ donor most likely than not someone is taking the government is taking your organs not all the time but most of the time because your organs are, in, are, are not always donated to the hospital so the the the, 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 the freaking government is taking your organs and selling them on the black market to whoever wants to buy them and continuously making money and that money that they've received is now going to welfare it's not going to the food stamps it's not going to stuff like that so oh let me not let me not forget my new boat um my new mansion oh let me go let me go spend fifteen hundred thousand on um I know 1500 is 1500 but 15000 1500 1600 16000 200 500 2500 25000 100000 on some stupid shit that people can actually live and suffice my life on, but instead I'm going to go and spend it on a vacation to Fiji Islands and a private mansion and a freaking maid and a foreign car and these kind of expenses and this, and then make it a foreign trip where I invite these other people that can afford to hang around me because they make a certain amount of money or have certain assets like houses and cars that they can actually actually put in my face and say that they have on record under their name so they fit in with me that's how these groups started by the way it's a fit in thing so now you can come and visit me on this fiji island that i have now came on a trip for for actually getting money for selling organs on the black market to afford this trip that i can now invite you on yay y'all call me crazy but this is some true stuff so with that being said, Kanika Jiggin was taken. This was something they were watching out for. I believe that I don't know how close the owner and, the, and, and Irene was, but there's some speculation that basically they were some kind of closest. They worked there. They had they had the access to the cameras. So something happened that Kanika got took. She she was taken, y'all. It's common sense. All this footage is fake. Like I, they could not not show the mother footage. There was no footage. There was no footage to show. So instead, they make up something to show the public for footage that, or at least for her walking to the fridge. The other footage is her. That is actually her coming into the actual hotel via camera. But the footage of her going to the freezer is not her. They don't have footage down there. They're the, cam the area that they're in is restricted. There's no cameras. They're probably working now due to all the publicity, but there's no cameras. So with that being said, there's no story for her to be down in the freezer. And first of all, the activist said that. And that's not even true. That's not true. Do your, do your real research, you guys. It's not true. She wasn't found in the freezer. They took her. They took her, man. Someone took her. She was abducted. My sister, your sister was abducted. Now, let's talk about factors as to maybe how this could not have happened. She dresses very provocative. Now, yes, I'm going to say something, and maybe you guys may get mad at me, but it's fine. You go to a party, yeah, you want to look good, you want to do whatever you do, but you are a lady. You have to carry yourself a certain way. I'm pretty sure someone mistaken her as a prostitute. And who cares about prostitutes? You know how many prostitutes that are found abducted and never, ever, ever are found again in life? And no one does a story on them. No one researches about them. No one knows their name. No one reports them to the fucking cops until what? Months, weeks, days later. You know how many times that happened? A lot. And in this situation, that would have been Kanika Jenkins if she was a prostitute. However, she was not. They mistaken her for a prostitute and they fucked up. They 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 they, 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 they messed up. So they got this 19 year old girl that's a queen. That's my sister. That's y'all's sister. That that is a part of a part of our society, a part of us as a whole. Black or white, Spanish, Korean, Chinese, well, whatever, you know, Asian, Japanese, it doesn't make a difference. 
we're all the same. So our family member, they fucking, they thought that she was another kind of type of person, that she was a prostitute with no family, no background, no, no one that would actually truly care about her being lost. And it blew up in their faces. So now what's happening is the truth is coming out about these societies in, t- in this top tier percent of people that are making this fluctuation of cash that we, oh, sorry, currency, because it's not cash. Cash is actually tangible. Currency is not. It's fiat currency. It's fake. So there's fake digits that they're playing with. And they come to the public. They take these people and they do, they, 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 they use them for, you know, fear and feeling bare about themselves they're the most materialistic ones you know people are materialistic but not because they really are they're the most materialistic because of what they see what they promote what the media shows and promotes and the reason why the media shows and promotes is so that these billionaires continue to be billionaires we are the reason why they're rich if there was no us there'd be no them they make money off of us people we have the power we have the control you don't have to go to work tomorrow if, if every single person got up and said, you know what, these wages are freaking ridiculous, this is inflation, we should not be living like this, no one would struggle. They would have no choice but to change the way the society is ran. But what happened? People have turned into zombies and slaves and not using their brain and not understanding the world that we're actually living. They're just living the life and just going day by day by day in limbo, not realizing the actions and just falling in to what they're telling them to do and what looks to be good and what looks to be hype and what looks to be in and conforming to the society that we are living in as of today. So do I feel like Manifa actually set her up? No. Do I feel like there was maybe a situation that may have happened prior to Kanika falling or laying down or leaving the room? Maybe. Maybe it was a situation that happened with the, one of the guys or the guys. Maybe Manifa did want to talk to one of the guys or one. I don't know for a fact. Maybe it did. But the fact that she's gone, I don't believe that they did this to her. I believe that she was really taken. She was abducted. Maybe when she was found dead, that could be a that could, that could be something that's the source. That could be something that's truthful. Do I know for a truth? I don't know. I really believe she was abducted. I believe that all the footage was fake, and I believe that they need to come out with the real story and tell people the truth about this world that we're living in. It is not a peaceful, happy place. However, we can make it peaceful. We can we can call out the bullshit and this shit right here. And I normally I don't curse, but this shit right here is bullshit. Why? Because it's nothing's making any sense. And cursing is something that's different. We do another video about cursing because curse words are just words. But with this case, it literally is just bullshit. So what I'm telling y'all to do is look a little deeper. See what I'm talking about. Actually look up the black market. Actually look up the people behind the black market. People that use the black market. People that actually entertain, you know, organ donations or, 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 you know, buying or selling organs, which this man, the owner, did. So it's not, there's not uncanny for there to be people that he knows that would be in his hotel full of prostitutes that would not have people that actually care about them because, you know, they're prostitutes and that's how they think when they do have families and they probably, you know, they have lives and things of that nature, but this is how they think. We're just cattle to them. We really are just cattle to them. And this needs to change. So I want you guys to go ahead, share this video, comment, like below. Let me know how y'all feel. Any other update past what I have stated or anything proving what I'm stating to you, please let me know. I do follow what y'all say, and I, of course, will shout you out on something that is valuable or I find that is valuable to the situation. So if I do see something else, of course, I'll make another video about it. But just take heed to the other things that I said in this video because it's true, y'all. It really is true. All right. And with that being said, peace, love, see y'all later. And hey, it's Clarissa Cassez. Please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe once again. And the name is spelled K-L-A-R-I-S-S-I-C-A-S-A-Y-S. And of course, go subscribe to my YouTube channel and also the Instagram page on Instagram. See y'all later.